dear students welcome back now in this session we are going to discuss about h reflex and f wave this is also one type of nerve conduction test h reflex here the h refers to hoffman who first suggested the test it is a useful measure for uh, radiculopathy and peripheral neuropathy its most common application is in testing the integrity of the sensory and motor monosynaptic pathway of s1 nerve root okay and to a lesser extent to c6 to c7 okay so when a submaximal stimulus so low intensity stimulus a sub maximal stimulus is applied to the peripheral nerve the action potential travel along the 1a afferent fiber okay so fibers which take taken by this um, neurons that is called sensory neurons and which are going to synapsing with that of the alpha motor neurons in the anterior horn cells and the subsequent activation of the peripheral motor nerves causing the contraction of the muscle okay so this is the uh, way how um, uh, the process is going to takes place here okay now the latency of h reflex response is an integrity of both sensory as well as the motor nerves the muscle like soleus contain an abundance of muscle spindles normally we are stimulating the muscle spin so abundant of muscle spindles and demonstrate this h reflex consistently okay the h reflex is a function of age and leg length which can be determined according to this following um, um, equation that is h reflex latency how can you find means so it is 0.46 into leg length in centimeters plus 9.14 plus 0.1 into age in years so like that we have we can calculate the h reflex uh, latency period okay the normal response falls within uh, plus or minus 5.5 milliseconds of this calculated latency okay if you see an average response is 29.8 milliseconds plus or minus 2.74 milliseconds still a slowed latency which is indicative of abnormal dorsal root function what is that abnormal dorsal root function okay so this is about h reflex now we will see the f wave this was first described by megaladhari and mcdougal in um, 1950 it is a measure of the time required for the action potentials of alpha motor neurons elicited by applying a supra maximal stimulus so so here the motor nerve is stimulated by supra maximal stimulus in the periphery which is going to be transmitted centrally to the motor neuron cell body that means um the impulse is uh, taking place in the antidromic that means opposite to the physiological direction isn't it or not so normally the motor nerve will come like this the impulses will come in this way and which reaches to the target organ here what is happening we are stimulating the motor nerve that is uh, at the supra maximal uh, stimulus as given to alpha motor neuron then it travels in the opposite direction that is in antidromic um, and then uh, once it reaches uh, in uh, to the um, 
what you call as uh, reaches to its neuron okay that is alpha motor neuron okay and discharge along the same neuron so once it reaches back to that neuron and again it comes back from the neuron to the um, target organ within the uh, physiological direction that is orthodromic direction so what actually happening means here while the orthodromic stimulus travels to the distal muscle the antidromic uh, stimulus travel to the an anterior horn cells so what happens means here the impulse is thought to uh, reverberate so impulse is thought to reverberate that means so once uh, this antidromic stimulus reaches to the neuron okay so that is the thing happening isn't it so we are stimulating the motor nerve so the impulse is traveling to this a uh, neuron okay what happens at the axon hillock region okay at the, this is the axon hillock region so a depolarization takes place so after depolarization at the axon hillock leading to the depolarization in the dendrites okay so dendrites uh, again generating an stimulus that means reverse so then what happens again from the dendrites the stimulus is taken by this neuron okay uh, that means an orthodromic poly Uh, back so so this orthodromic direction is taking place that is the physiological direction so normally whatever the impulses which are coming from the brain so which are taken by this uh, small uh, dendrites and then it reaches to the uh, cell body and the axon hillock and then it reaches to the axon isn't it so that is the thing happening so once the stimulus is traveling through the axon which depolarizes at the axon hillock and then depolarizing the dendrites so again this um, depolarization causes the transmission that means reverse back through this um, uh, axon and causes the muscle contraction okay the latency of f response is approximately 22 to 34 milliseconds in the upper limb if you stimulate it at the wrist and 40 to 58 milliseconds in the lower limb if you stimulate it at the ankle so it is useful supplement to nerve conduction and uh, electromyography um, and electromyography measures and is most helpful in diagnosis of conditions where the most proximal portion of the axon or il involved such as gullian bar syndrome thoracic outlet syndrome etc so this is all about h reflex and ef wave in the next session we are going to discuss about uh, the other uh, types of tests um, which are related to this uh, electrical reactions in the next session Thank you